Hello everyone and welcome back. So we were covering the NestJS, all about NestJS in which we have already covered NestJS with the MongoDB. We have written a lot of KPIs and we talked about the different building blocks of uh, NestJS which is controllers, services, interceptors, filters, pipes, uh, validated DTU classes, how to access the MongoDB data from the NestJS, how to write an independent module like a Swagger module, Logger module, how to write a middleware, all these concepts we have covered. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about NestJS with MySQL and TypeORM. So what is going to change is, instead of MongoDB, we are going to use a MySQL. We will run the migration, seeders, all these things will come into the picture. We will see how we are managing the relationship one to many, many to many, many to one in our MySQL tables, okay? So the same example, uh, we are going to tweak a little bit. Now we are going to talk about uh, different entities, different entities like user, post and comment. These three entities we are going to talk about in this video series. We have already covered 20 plus videos. Now in the next set of videos we will talk about how to do a connection with the type ORM MySQL, how to write a dynamic module in NestJS so that we will be able to do authentication of a MySQL connection. I mean we have to provide a username, password, host, port, all these things. So how we can just pass that from the config service to uh, config module to our database module. Once we are able to have a database connection, before that we just need to have tweak our D D Docker Compose a little bit. We have to introduce a MySQL container there. So we will start with adding a MySQL container in our Docker Compose. We will spin up the MySQL. Okay, then we will write our database module and a config module. So config module will have the database configurations for our application okay uh, let's get started thanks everyone